Hey, fellow CD collectors and music fans, Chris Runke with Runke Media here, showing you what's new to the collection for the second week of April. That is Counting Hours. Highly recommended if you're into darker doom kind of stuff. And then there's a throwback to Swedish melodic metal from the uh, 90s called In Nothingness. Bleak Picture, I believe, is more Finnish doom and gloom. Uh, they seem to be pretty good at that sort of thing, so definitely check these guys out if you're into that kind of vibe. Um, they're a newer band, so they only have an um, EP and a full length. Let's see what else we got. Borealis, Canadian prog power metal, as it says there for fans of Evergrey and Camelot and so forth. Uh, I believe they're from Ontario, so I think I've completed their discography now. Speaking of completing discographies, that's Savoy, it's an AHA side project. I believe I have all their albums now. Not quite as good as AHA, but worth a listen if you're into that Scana Scanavian, Scandinavian kind of pop rock stuff. All Shall Perish, some great riffs from those guys. Eleven, this is the second time it's been in my collection. Uh, for some reason I accidentally sold my copy, so I had to get another one. It's a classic heart album. My buddy Kat Hendricks plays drums on Crazy On You, so I thought I should get it in the collection uh, after all these years. Some bangers on there. And also, uh, a lot of it was recorded in Vancouver. Not many people know that. But yeah, lots of hits on that one. Uh, Identity 3D, Century Media compilation, was huge for me back in, I don't know, 97 or so. I've always only had the promo, so I thought I'd get the real thing. Uh, that's D'Angelo. I got that because uh, I heard Questlove play some pretty good drums on that album. Moonspell, trying to complete their discography. There's another one I used to have in the collection, had to get it back. Uh, Rush, Snakes and Arrows Live, trying to complete the Rush Live discography now. Uh, I've had their studio albums for a really long time, so on to the next phase there. Blaze My Sorrow, Swedish melodic death metal with an EP. Not their best material, but uh, cool that they're still around. They put out some great albums back in the 90s on uh, Black Sun, I believe. Scour completed their discography, uh, just three EPs. It's Phil Anselmo from Pantera doing a sort of crusty black metal thing. Um, speaking of black metal, we've got some Triglav here. I believe these guys only have a couple albums, but it's really great melodic black metal. It's a bit of a gothic vibe. Euphorion, this is a band that was kind of new to me. I was looking up a really um, underrated band called La Florian, and they were compared to them. Follow Bane is, I believe, Japanese melodic death metal. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, Hieronymus Bosch from Russia. Technical metal, if you're into atheist and stuff like that, uh, you would be a fan. Terrible album cover though. Don't know what's going on there with that goose. Uh, Enemy of the Sun, this is a project that's um, very comparable to uh, Grip Inc. So if you're a Grip Inc fan, that sort of post Slayer thing, then yeah, check them out. Uh, wow, okay, interesting. So we got some ACDC, I'm trying to complete their studio discography as well. Um, just gonna flip that one. Hopefully somebody wants all the ACDC CDs in one shot. If you do, give me a shout. I think they got 12 or 14 studio albums or something. I don't know why I got another copy of Oceans of Slumber. I've had that in the collection for over a year now. So that one's going to go up on the Discogs for sure. Because uh, looks like I got doubles. And speaking of doubles, I also somehow managed to get um, two copies of the new Dodheim's Guard which is a great album. Uh, there it is, Black Medium Current. So that one's gonna be going up on the Discogs as well. Don't know how I'm ending up with doubles a year later almost, it's kind of ridiculous. Maybe stuff was tied up uh, in the post office or something. Who knows, crazy things happen. Um, let's see what else we got. We got some bootlegs here. A couple of Pantera bootlegs that are pretty hard to come by. I've already listened to these. Um, sound quality is not that great on those Pantera ones. Not sure about that Judas Priest, but um, those are all going up on eBay. Uh, give me a shout if you're looking for rare bootlegs. Another ACDC, part of the studio discography. Fate's Warning, I had to get another copy of this because I'm also selling their discography, but I want to keep some of my faves like Inside Out, No Exit, and um, Pleasant Shade of Grey. Raise Hell, there's another band that's sort of Swedish 
um, Death Thrash, I'm trying to complete their discography. Best of Sodom, because I don't need all their studio albums. I mean, a Best of is good enough for me, and a few newer ones, maybe. But, uh, yeah, some good speed metal. Uh, as I continue my quest for the Christian Wallin album covers, there's another one, Metal Dreams compilation. It really bugs me, because they did about three or four of those, and they're all the same cover art with different color schemes. Uh, Weezer, Guilty Pleasure, yeah. Trying to complete their discography. They released a bunch of those annoying Seasons EPs. So I need a couple more of those. And more Christian Wallin on um, some DVD promos here. That came with Metal Hammer in Europe. So I did quite a few of these. I don't know if they're really called off-road tracks though. I think they're called something else. But uh, anyways... This is one of my most recent discoveries I'm super excited about. Uh, it's just one guy from Austria making this epic, epic melodic black metal. Um, very diverse though, not your typical melodic black metal. It's got a bit of a power and heavy metal vibe to it as well. So this is Ancient Mastery and there's two concept albums here. There's a chapter one and a chapter two um, that's really uh, an adventurous listen, I mean, there's a lot of peaks and valleys in this stuff, as the album artwork would indicate. I highly recommend checking them out if you're into epic metal. And this Megadeth I had to get because of the red EMI logo. I had, <laughs> you know, they, they put the spines together for the reissues and form, they formed the skull. I had that one, but the logo was black and it was just bothering me, as you can see right there. Doesn't match up with the other red logos. I have no idea why they did that, but uh, Balance in the Kingdom has been restored thankfully. So yeah, thanks for checking out what's new in week two. Come back for week three. That'll be up pretty soon. It's been a great month. Hope you're having a good one too with your CD collections. Let me know what you've got in the collection this month and we'll see you soon.